2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 16 through chapter 3 verse 5. May the Lord encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word, brothers and sisters. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us, so that the word of the Lord may speed forward and be glorified, as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from perverse and wicked people, for not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful, he will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. We are confident of you in the Lord that what we instruct you you are doing and will continue to do. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God, and to the endurance of Christ. In every moment of the day a struggle exists within each of us, to do good or evil. Our main defense against Satan is prayer, such as this one. Saint Michael the Archangel defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits, who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 2 Thessalonians was written in Corinth about 51 or 52 AD, in an effort to clear up any confusion about the second coming of Christ that came about from 1 Thessalonians. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 17 Saint Paul says, Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us, so that the word of the Lord may speed forward. Notice he is not asking the Thessalonians to pray for him, but for his mission of spreading the word of God. Encourage your hearts, Saint Paul is praying that his converts be strengthened internally, to the very core, or the inner being. Saint Paul is also praying that his converts demonstrate Christian principles with every good deed and word. Saint Paul continues the theme of strengthening believers not to be lazy but to fight for the faith, in Ephesians, written from Rome in 60 AD. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 17. Finally, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day and, having done everything, to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield, to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. In St. Paul's mission, faith in Christ leaped from person to person, like some divine epidemic, not of disease, but of spiritual health. John Pollock